Hello, my friends. Let's do this Ask a Life Coach thing yet again. What's a good approach to getting ready for a difficult conversation that needs to be had? You know, oftentimes I think our, our idea of getting ready is I'm going to play it out in my head. I'm going to, well, if they say this, then I'm going to say this. And if they say that, then I'm going to say that. And, and it's so stressful. And it's like we've had this stressful conversation so many times, and yet we haven't actually had it at all. So my recommendation for getting ready is you just empty your mind and you go into it open and you go into it at a place where you can accept whatever comes about and that you know that this other person may surprise you and that you may surprise yourself. So don't go in thinking that you can control it and that, well, I've got this plan. If they say this, I'm going to take it in that direction. And that's really stressful. Um, and it's just not possible, right? Life, life will always surprise us. And sometimes that's a really cool thing about life. So my recommendation is you just empty your mind as much as possible. Uh, how do you do that? Well, you know, maybe you prepare for this conversation by not preparing for this conversation. Maybe you go play, do something that you find fun, uh, be, be in nature, exercise, let, let go of all that pressure to begin with, and then trust yourself in the moment to just see how things are going. And, you know, as always, if you get really caught off guard and you're feeling defensive or whatever else in the relationship, then just be open about that. Just, hey, you know, I'm feeling really defensive right now. I appreciate what you've said, but I want to take a little bit of time to process this. Maybe we can talk about this at a later time, something like that. Just keep your calm, keep your, you know, keep, keep your willingness to have future conversations to not feel like, okay, you know, all the stakes right on this one moment and I have to say things right and then that's that and then it's done and it's not, right? So just try to be open, try to focus on listening, choose your words mindfully and, and forgive yourself because nobody's perfect and this isn't a performance and, uh, you know, you're allowed to be a human in these experiences as well and not judge yourself like, oh, I should have been able to produce a certain outcome, but I didn't. So I failed. No, that's that's not on you. Right. You, you just go in with as much kindness and honesty as you can. And then where it goes is, is where it goes. And you bring that onto your path and you go from there. So hopefully you found that helpful. Hope it lets you take a little bit of pressure off of yourself to feel like you've got to, I don't know, master your top 10 bullet points or something, because that sounds really difficult and exhausting to me. I appreciate you asking. I appreciate everybody tuning in and I can't wait to see you back here next time.